Welcome to Families Are First Teachers, a video series designed to support families who are supporting learners at home. Presently, many families are finding themselves having to help their children navigate remote schoolwork. Some caregivers saying they are feeling like substitute teachers for their own kids these days. However, what we know about families is that they are the children's first and often best teachers. These short videos are designed by experts in curriculum and instruction, behavior, and special education from Summit Educational Service Center and State Support Team Region 8 with the goal of empowering families, members for, for the new teaching roles they find themselves in. Welcome to the Parent Tips webinar for an upcoming Parent Teacher Conference. We hope this presentation gives you some insight into the importance of the Parent Teacher Conference and some ideas for getting the most out of the conference time. My name is Debbie Thurl and I will be facilitating this webinar today. The Parent Teacher Conference is a formal time when parents and teachers come together to talk about a child's progress. Your child's teacher will contact you to set up a meeting time. This is also a time for you, the parent, to learn that the teacher knows and cares about your child. Parent teacher conferences offer an opportunity to deepen your relationship with your child's teacher. As you discuss your child's academic and social concerns, you will share information about your child. This conversation is critical to becoming partners and allies in this child's education. How are you going to collaborate and work together to help your child be the very best that they can be in the school setting? This is also a time for you to develop relationships within the school and join the school community to support its work with all students. The above slide mentions five conference tips for a successful parent-teacher conference. By scheduling the time and planning to arrive on time, you will ensure that the teacher has the maximum amount of time available to meet with you and discuss your child. Think over the past few weeks of school. Are there any questions that come to mind? Do you need to inquire about your child's academic progress? About their foundational skills, such as phonemic awareness or phonics? About their reading ability? How about their math skills? What about your child's participation in class? Are there any new updates? that the teacher needs to know regarding home life in your child. You will want to jot those ideas down as a reminder for you to share with the teacher. This time is short, so having questions and thoughts written down ahead of time ensures that you receive all of the information needed regarding your child. This is a wonderful opportunity to converse about your child's strengths and hear some suggestions from the teacher. When the end of the conference time comes, quickly sum up the key points you remember. The teacher will also contribute final thoughts. Let's go a little deeper with the tips we just introduced. Join me on the next slide to discuss tip number one. Parent-teacher conferences are scheduled closely together, so it is very important that you select a time that works for you. Make sure that you have time to drive to the school park your car and walk into the building. Do you have another child in the same building? Remember to allow extra time for walking between classrooms and a few extra minutes in case another conference is running late. By popping your head into the classroom, the teacher will see you and realize that you are waiting. Take a seat outside the door and he or she will come to get you once they finished with the previous parent. Now it's your turn to meet the teacher. The questions you wrote out ahead of time will guide your conversation with the conference. Prioritize your questions by leading with the most important question you want to discuss with the teacher. That way you are assured that you get an answer to the question that is the most important to you. <clears throat> I have provided several suggestions on this slide. Read and review the questions. Perhaps some will be the same as what you want to know. The questions may also give you other ideas on good questions to ask your child's teacher. When you ask the second question, what are my child's strongest and weakest subjects, the teacher will discuss the skills 
that your child has control of and those that they are still developing or may struggle with. Perhaps they are good at math or reading. Perhaps they struggle with math or reading. This is good information to hear. The next question is a good follow-up question to hear what the teacher's plan is to help your child grow in, in, ed, in any area they may struggle with. Perhaps the teacher plans to meet with your child in an extra reading group. Perhaps the teacher wants your child to work on phonics skills with the Title I teacher. Hearing the plan gives you an idea of what the school is doing to support your child. Now you can ask what else you can do to help your child at home. You may wish to stop the webinar and think about some additional important questions to ask your child's teacher. Remember the webinar, uh, start the webinar back up and go to the next slide to hear more tip ideas. This slide is focused on any changes that have happened at home or may happen in the near future. It is important to keep your child's teacher informed so they can support your child and help them get through this change in the home routine. Perhaps there is a new baby and your child is feeling sad since the baby takes extra time from their time with mommy. Perhaps a family member is sick and everyone is worried. A childhood allergy is critical information that the teacher needs to know. If a child has an allergy, nuts for example, the teacher can monitor any treats or food offered to students at school. Maybe your phone number changed recently. By providing the new number, you are making it easy for the school to contact you when necessary. As you discuss your child's progress, let the teacher know that you appreciate his or her efforts to communicate clear expectations with you. Is there a way to let you know if there is homework to complete? Are updates provided to parents in the form of a newsletter? Where is the newsletter posted? And most important, what are the classroom rules and expectations? If those rules are communicated with you, then you can reinforce them with your child at home. If there is something the teacher says or shares that is confusing or unclear, don't hesitate to request clarification. You may say, can you explain that to me in more detail, please? When parents and teachers are communicating and working together, research shows that students are more successful in school. The conference time is always a brief time, especially when you come up with questions to ask. When the time is concluding, start summarizing some key points that were made during the conference. I have given you several suggestions on this slide. You may think of other ideas based on the questions you asked during the conference. Summarizing the information discussed lets you and the teacher know what is important and what you heard the teacher say. It emphasizes that you are a team working together to help your child have a successful year. The resources listed above were used to develop this Summit Educational Service Center presentation. Thank you for joining us today on the learning journey as we discussed parent tips for a parent-teacher conference. A reminder that you can revisit this presentation at any time to focus on one particular slide which you want to study more. Best wishes this year for a successful parent-teacher conference. And that concludes this module of the Families or First Teachers video series. Thank you for joining us. If you found this video helpful, you can find additional ones just like it on the Summit ESC YouTube channel. Just visit YouTube and search for Summit ESC. There you'll find additional videos on self-care and social emotional needs, supports for diverse learners, developing a growth mindset, and academic content supports. We hope these videos provide some new ideas, resources, and tips for supporting your learners at home and in life. Thank you for all that you do.